Japan has a rich legacy of traditional dances, many of which are alive and well to this day. In the arts, these range from no, with its slow and stately movements, to the lively, dynamic kabuki dances. Incorporating elements from many older traditions, the style known as Nihon Buyo originated in the 17th century. It's gone through many evolutions since, and today there are around 120 different schools. Onoe Kikunojo is the current head of the Onoe School. His students range from child amateurs to those who dance as a profession. Lessons begin with a formal bow to the teacher. The most important basic movements are taught first. These focus on the feet, hands and neck. This is suriyashi, one of the basic foot techniques. The waist is sunk and the feet seem to slide across the floor. Hand techniques let the dancer express many things. Here he's admiring a flower. While here, he is enjoying the sight of the moon. His hand and arm movements signify gazing at something far away. And finally, he acts out the shape of the moon. The neck can be stretched, shaken side to side, and inclined. These three actions add emphasis to facial expressions. The basic movements are repeated until they become instinctual. When I dance well, it's great. I love that feeling. Skillful use of the folding fan is another Nihon Buyo specialty. A fan can represent many things. Here it's paper as he mimes writing a letter. And here, small movements of the fan suggest waves on the sea. Whatever kind of movement we make, and whatever role we are playing, the really important thing is to move beautifully. For the diverse roles in these dances, Nihon Buyo developed many unique stylistic techniques. Here he's portraying a young woman, kimono sleeves covering her face, toes demurely pointed in. Another woman warming her hands with her breath on a cold day as she steps gingerly on the snow. Such subtle expressive techniques are essential for an art form that relies purely on movement to tell the story. An important part of a geisha's job is to dance, and geisha have long been part of the Nihon Buyo tradition. It takes much rigorous practice to master movements that range from energetic to delicate. Take it step by step and persevere, eventually you'll discover why it's so enjoyable. After centuries of evolution, Nihon Buyo has become a kind of crystallization of the Japanese ideals of beauty. My greatest pleasure is seeing audiences enjoy the beauty we make. Nihon Buyo, a fascinating way to understand the role of beauty in Japanese culture today.